The situation at the southern border isn't just an issue in border states. Here in Washington, it's a major policy debate. So let's start with what's changing. Since March of 2020, if you were an asylum seeker and you came to the border, in most cases, immigration officials could immediately reject you in the name of public health. Title 42 was a public health order. In a post-Title 42 world, asylum seekers won't be turned away because of a pandemic. Instead, Title 8 rules are in effect. If a migrant has an appointment schedule, they will go through a screening process to determine eligibility. And if they pass, they'll stay in the country for more court hearings. However, a new government rule says migrants who don't have an appointment will be rejected. Some exceptions exist, like if they are under 18 or a parent with a sick child. White House officials tell Scripps News border agents will scrutinize more those seeking asylum during their individual interviews. Who is allowed to stay in the United States will be very much dependent on where the migrants are specifically from. The new rule goes into effect. For context, we sat down with Doris Meissner. She was the commissioner of the Immigration and Naturalization Service back in the 1990s. She says nationality matters first and foremost with migrants from Nicaragua, Cuba, Haiti, and Venezuela. Right now, the U.S., because of ongoing political turmoil, is allowing 30,000 migrants a month from those countries to receive asylum here if someone backs them from the U.S. But they must do so from their home country or online via something known as the CBP-1 mobile app. If those migrants show up without doing anything beforehand, they will likely face removal. Mexico has agreed to take them. With those countries, we don't have diplomatic relations. The biggest policy change, Meissner says, is that migrants will now have had to have attempted to declare asylum somewhere else first. Take, for instance, someone from El Salvador. The U.S. wants them to declare asylum first in a place like Guatemala or in Mexico. And if they show up at the southern border without doing so, they could be swiftly denied. The rule does not apply to Mexican citizens. What the administration's trying to do is create more orderliness in the flows. You said the goal is to have a little more order, but is it still going to be pretty chaotic? It certainly will be. Meissner says the hardest part with the new rules is that it may take a while for migrants to know about them, so they will still come. Not to mention U.S. law still requires the country to accept people legitimately facing persecution. President Biden's rules may be rejected in the courts. You've been doing this 30 years plus. Is this the most challenging time? I think that it is, yes. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.